Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 57 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. We were just about to start a map. So, our job today is to investigate the surroundings. Simple, right? Oops. I'm going to put some effort into leveling up Mikeu a few times this level. In my trial run I got it up got her up to level 26, but I think I'll stop at level 25 for this run. Mama. Ouch, these bastards hurt. Hmm? Oh crap. Fia, you need the holding back ring as well. Here we go. Experience for me, KU. Great! Physical attack. That will help a tiny little bit. Hey! Fia's found a person! Let's talk to him. Hey, are you guys off of that giant walking thing? That's a castle, yes. Alright, let's ask this guy what's going on with this village. Seems like nobody's going outside around here. Oh yeah, that. So, recently there have been some weird people taking up residence. And furthermore, there are many of the people just disappearing without a trace. It's really troublesome. And they've decided not to go out without a reason. He's sure that those guys are kidnapping villagers. Hmm. Well, that's bad. Yeah, there are these violent types who have taken the farmland around here. And if the villagers try to complain, they just fight him off. Ah, uh, so it's bandits. A noisy sort. In that case, they ought to request assistance from the Night Corps. If they send a messenger to the capital, those guys should send soldiers in order to eliminate these bandits. Well, they tried that, but they won't dispatch anybody. The king must have abandoned us. Hmm, so what's going on here? This isn't a very small town either. They should have plenty of reasons to do it. There must be something else to figure out. Let's keep looking for these bad guys. Oh, 
行動開始だふん<笑>チープだうん I really don't think she has enough attack to justify it She's going to do one damage even if she's fully buffed Bleh, you're stupid and ugly Get over here so Io can bash on you and Mikio can finish you off Ah crap Yep, better retreat with those two. Stand here with the old. Keep shooting! Eventually it'll get tired of throwing rocks at eel and move forward. Eventually. This could be bad. Huh. Alright, heal you. You'll hit this person in front of you. Has he all been. Yes, he has been hit with confusion, which makes her unable to use her special skills. See, this is exactly why it's pointless to try and buff Mikayu. Hey, maybe. No. Both of those two have already gone. And Detailm can't do enough damage this way either. Hmm. Well, nuts. Uh, keep hitting this guy. I need more mercy rings. Oh man. Alright. Even if there's not much point to it. See, that's exactly what he should have done. A turn ago. So next turn Mikio can kill this guy. And then the giant can move into that space. And then Mikio can kill it. They've all got one hit point. Hmm. Well that's a little risky. But I'm going to move Mikio in for this. Now, she could take a lot of damage really fast. Hmm. Beastman blood. Come to think of it. These may be our first demi-humans that we can capture. Well, if all goes well, this will all turn out fine. You bunch of dicks. This is what I'm after. Okay. This is all kinds of bad news. Hmm. Well. I guess we knew this could have happened. 
Hell, I even said this could happen. Whoa, she's already gained two levels, has she? That's good. Oh, look. No surprises here. Okay, first things first. Heal up, Mikayu. Hmm. Too powerful. Not powerful enough. Alright. Yo can get it down to one hit point and then Mikio can finish it off. Now well, somebody's got to grab, grab that. Oh great. Next up is that room. I've always a pretty good pick for handling those guys. Ouch. Hmm. Hey, Bug, you're stupid and ugly and I don't like you. Hmm. It's still kind of important that it doesn't die until I have Mikayu kill it. But that means having somebody do the mercy hits on it. About halfway there now. Hmm. I'm going to move Fia in. <clears throat> Alright, clearly by your dress we can tell you aren't one of the bandits. You're one of the kidnapped persons, right? Oh. Okay, first line was Avaro speaking to himself. This is Avaro address addressing the guy. Alright, you there. You're one of the villagers. It's alright, we're here to protect you. Uh, stay away. Stop it. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Uh, this is lame. Look, we're here to save you. But he left. Something's up here. So we get to chase him down. You just hang out and Dethelm will go here. Damn it. Ideally, this means that I'll be able to kill these guys properly with Mikayu. Oh. 
Eel's confusion wore off. Now, one thing which Fia can do here is heal up Eol. But she can also knock these guys down to size if. Oops. Undo, undo. I need to re equip her book. I mean, those guys aren't low enough for her to be hanging out in their midst. One star humans. My money says these guys are going to be worthless to me as captives. But you know, I have to capture them anyway. Until I know for sure. Okay, now those guys are all at HP 1, so it's safe to have Mikio come forward. Weapon swap. Ouch. Of course, when I said safe for her to come out, I meant it in a relative form. Hey, she got two magic attack. Well, that's good, I guess. Well, let's see if the other two can get the bug low enough for Mikao in one turn. Oh, wait. Mikao's at level 25. Alright, mission complete, guys. Now kill everything in sight. Mm -hmm. 23 times 2. Taking 11. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. I want to capture it. Can he do it? No. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, all right. Kodo Kaisha. All right, there we go. Sweet. Let's have him recover a bit of SP. Oh, 
お宝だおれさまの手番とかうん。お友達守る Now I've got a few level 24 Yui k i And my two engineers are both level 24. Hmm. Hey, small healing potions. I already know that there's somebody in the room just waiting to pop out. Boo! Somebody help me! Ooh. That guy looks like a bad guy. So, calm the hell down and come with us already. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get away from that guy. He obviously looks like a good guy. And you, good guy guy. We're not one of their allies. We're here to save you. Good, great, you there. Please, save me. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't get into these guys' lines. Who the hell are you? If you get involved here, you're gonna get hurt. Scram! Alright, you guys are bad guys. Bandits. Kidnapping that guy. We're gonna deal with you. Well, you guys think you're such heroes. We're gonna make you regret it. Everybody gang up on those guys. Now, interestingly, usually the room is empty. And the yellow guys get control of the room. Or, no, that's wrong. We usually get control of the room. But since the red guy was over there, when I came in, I didn't get control, so now I have to go through one step at a time again. Again. When I come in. Mama. Man, if I had more room, I could summon a couple more Yuiki in. Ha, bastards. Okay. Ouch. These guys hurt. Well, Lavar can take a couple hits. And Eo can most definitely take a couple hits. Hey, maybe I should try and keep Eo out of the fight. Haha, <laughs> you guys suck. Except you use confusion, which is annoying. He got a Varo! Damn it. I believe at the end of the last video I made some confusion curing items, however. You see, with confusion I can't capture enemies anymore. But, where is it? Confusion cure. Bam! Now I can capture him. A point of defense. Why well, we have days like that? Fuzzy hair! Note that it's not fluffy, it is fuzzy. And 
no, no. Oh, I know. Fia still has the mercy ring on. So she can snag it down for somebody who gets to mop it up easy. Although d has got pretty good attack, he didn't need that. Ouch. Well, if anybody can tackle these guys easily, it's Karin. No, no, no. Yeah, this will work. These guys give pretty good experience when you're below level a bit. Yorin's lines are just hilarious. Yorin's personality is just hilarious. You stupid ugly bastard with a face. I'm gonna kill you when I get over there. Eh. No, 21 times 2. No. See, Orin has a pretty good chance of getting either a multi-hit or a critical hit. I can't believe this. It inflicted confusion on me and then attacked again. Gotta stab somebody. Mm. Too much damage. Too much damage. Uh, no, this one won't kill it. Provided he doesn't have any moves activate. Mm. Seven times two, not good enough. Eight times two, also not good enough. Karin needs more attack power. Oh yes. Sixteen times two, perfect. But damn, those guys hurt. Hmm? Oh. I got a bit confused about the control situation. Well. Good job, Ogaro. Beastman Claw. Hmm. <laughs> Pull the attack on an old holy guy. All right. Capture. Hmm, 12. Sure. Well, even if it's your and he's starting to run low on life here. But... I didn't notice this before, but you can... 
do a take back during the battles the the battle pop-ups that occur during the enemy's turn that was lame though like two power-ups and then a regular hit if it hadn't had those power-ups Yodrin would have been fine See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <coughs> well, this is convenient. Bam! Win for me. But man, those whirlpools are just spawning these guys. Okay, 15 damage times 2, that'll be fine. Okay, 8 damage times 2. Man, these guys are a pain. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting! Rurudin was hit by confusion. I wanted to cure it, but then I forgot. Well, it probably... Bastard! All right, soften him up, Avaro. Yeah, Detom could use the experience as well. Yeah, well, he probably won't kill it anyway. Alright, Karin, you can do it! Doing well, doing well. Yay, we did it. Thank you so very much. Thanks to you, I'm saved. What's up with these guys? And why is there a bandit gang like that here? Well, since the Gaidal company moved in, 
and started stealing our work, those guys also started increasing. So they're a pretty strong company and they've been had the opportunity to do whatever they please since these guys are unable to resist. Oh, those damn Gaia Doll Company bastards. So, not just taking your work, but furthermore, attacking your safety. How offensive! So, yeah, we're not quite done. <laughs> Oh, look at that. There's a bat. Now, if I had a character to move in there... Honestly, I guess I could have moved. Summoned up around and then moved in there. I could have taken control of the room. But hell, there's no rush. We've got plenty of time. Let's see. I want to get my level 24 characters down to do this. Actually, I may want Karin to do it, but Karin's actually rather low on life, so... I'll unsummon him so that we can summon him again in a couple turns and he'll be fully healed. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, and this physician detail will be able to get some hits in. And the bat attacks Eol again. When Fia would take way more damage. <laughs> With Thea having as much attack as she does, she may be able to finish this guy off. Except for that last hit point, which goes to Detail. That went well. Oh, another shot. Hurry up and get your level up. Ooh. healed up yet. Close enough. But he is not close enough to the action. Twenty-three times two. This should be fine. Ouch. Kodo Kaishida. Yorin, can you do this? Well, worst case scenario, I'll resurrect him. Ha! Not bad.
Rudin. I don't think I need you right now. And you got your level 25, so... Let's concentrate on these guys. Just two more level ups to go. 13. Alright, let's take off. Mercy Ring on Avaro. No, Yorin got his level up, so it leaves Karin. Oh man, he's got a good long way to go. Bleh. Wait a minute, that should have given her the paralysis, but it didn't. Yeah, well, maybe she's protected by something. Okay, wait until we're ready to go in this last room. Uh, Yorin, thanks for helping, but you need healing. Oh. I didn't realize that Misho and Sally is considered an earth elemental. Well, I guess somebody needs to be. I thought she was fire. Hmm. Alright, everything's in order. I hope. Okay, real quick here, let's get... ...healing in. And then we'll try that again. Ooh, a nice flower field. Oh, speaking of Gaidal... Long time no see, Avaro, and the goddess Fia who moves the castle. Have you been well? <laughs> so, he's been worried for, about us. He heard that we'd been attacked by ghosts. <laughs> This guy doesn't belong in a field of flowers. He's wearing all black and he stands out so horribly. <laughs> Alright, so, Gaidal, you're the one with the bandits who's been attacked in the town and stuff, right? Oh, that's an unfortunate misunderstanding. He had no intention whatsoever of burdening the people who live here. Uh, but in reality, they are burdened. They're actually kind of terrified. Oh, Geidel hadn't noticed, and he's very sorry. Avaro isn't buying it. しかし盗賊なんてひどいじゃないか。彼らは歴史とした外ダル商会の一員だ。
And anyway, this bandit thing is cruel. These guys are actually proper company men. Even though they so quickly resort to force and cause trouble to peaceful people. Even if they weren't bandits, to have the townspeople living in fear is certainly something they resemble. Oh, but we are only trying to earn money. Okay, here's one excuse. Oops. I left my finger on the button and I was trying to talk and press it again. Anyway, he's saying that since we took the work that they wanted, they were jealous of us and made excuses and defamed us and stuff. And that's a really sad occurrence. In fact, what they should have done was try harder and exceed, excel us, exceed us in the selling market. Well, of all things that he actually stole their work away from him, them by force rather than by excelling or anything. Okay, questions. Why are you here? And why did you decide to gather your minions here in this village? Ah, oh, that's very simple. So this is a trading hub where people gather, and since people are gathering, the money gathers too. Simple, right? So he decided to open up a new store in here. And thanks to that, the work's just been rolling in so much that he can doesn't even have time to rest. Really? So kidnapping villagers is your idea of work, is it? Well, that's quite a thing for us to accuse him of when we haven't actually witnessed it. We've been doing proper work and everything, nothing which would be we would be ashamed of. Yeah, we already observed a couple of rooms back somebody being forcibly dragged away against their will. If that isn't kidnapping, what would you call it? And furthermore, it is a reality that the, that the people are of the village want you to leave. It'd be nice if you actually did that. Hmm. So, where do they have any such authority? So, these guys apparently have proper authority, proper permission from the Influus Kingdom to be doing business. On the other hand, there's us. We're not affiliated with the kingdom and we're still doing business within their borders. Shouldn't we be obeying the laws and collecting taxes? <laughs> Don't change the subject. This isn't about affiliation or taxes. It's about you causing trouble in this village. So, we're going to ask you to leave the village. 
And if you do so, the people of the village will be able to rest easily again. And if you don't do it, we're going to have to do it the hard way. Really? If negotiations don't work, you're willing to resort to force? <laughs> Isn't that quite the same thing that he, we've been accusing him of doing? Hmm. He has a bit of a point. If Avaro were a complete idiot. Nope, Avaro's just getting pissed. Alright, so we've gathered plenty of information. The townspeople don't seem to be lying. We saw a guy trying to be. Well, we saw guys trying to kidnap a guy. So we're going to be siding with the village people. So if you don't leave right away, we're going to do it by force. Ha. Uh, <laughs> looks like that's how it goes. <laughs> Well, you... Avaro is getting pretty uppity here. Apparently his villi his journey is going so well, he's grown arrogant. Well, sorry about that. But I don't think I'm as bad as you, who attack people who aren't fit for fighting. <laughs> Oh, how harsh. But the way you're so sincere is, is pleasant enough. Your emotions are easy to read. Now, are you saying that my emotion, my actions are easy to read too? You know, even if you know what's coming, there are things you can't stop. Alright, I'm a hero. Let's fight. Oh, how scary. You look like you could kill someone with that glare. But not bad. He's going to enjoy seeing what he can do. Alright, he's going to teach Avaro a little something. It is the strength that people who run a company possess. So, strength is simple enough to gather. You just gather things that have value about you. Don't you think so? I've always going to hold back on that particular. Rather than things and money, he's going to take improper stuff and work it into perfection. <laughs> well, how wonderful. He's going to enjoy crushing him. Well, in order to protect the profits of his company and to protect the lives of the people affiliated with his company, he's got to try hard. So, show him your true power. Bring it. You got it. And you're going to regret that attitude of yours. Everybody gang up on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gaidal has a area of effect spell. But it's got five range. And by five, that means he has to attack here or here. Because those are the only two squares that are five squares from him. So if I get hush, so if I get everybody out of the area affected, either of those squares would give 
then he can't use that. And that would be very good because Fia really can't take one of his attacks. That's a darkness attack. Where is it? Yeah, there. Since it's a darkness attack, it would do tons of damage to Fia. But if she isn't in the area of effect, he can't use it on her. Well, I don't want anyone in the range of it. He's got a ton of magic attack. He also has a regular earth attack with three range, which I don't want D Helm to get hit by, so he's gonna stay guy. four squares away. Mama. Oh yeah, Yuiki. I can totally summon some of those guys. Alright, priority one. Hmm, dark light flower. Alright, let's start by punching this guy. 18 damage. Alright, bring it. Let's see what you can do. Hmm. Did you already not get enough time to heal? Yeah, he was pretty close to dead when I unsummoned him last, wasn't he? Well, let's see how this goes. Hmm, V isn't going to be much use against him. 17 damage, but she has a pretty good... Oh, feel will be useful. <laughs> that went well. This would not, but I'll probably do it anyway. Notice that there are eight different herb gathering points in this stage. That's kind of crazy. Deed Helm gets to attack with impunity. Hey, I level up. Oh, he was still level 24? I wasn't paying attention. Alright, more attack, more defense, more defense. Speed. Pretty simple. More HP. That's good. I'm going to take a look at what those skills do. Yeah. Spirit aiming, let's call it. This will add 10% to his accuracy at all times. That's useful. Now we've already got a long range shot, and this is another one. It does more damage. It's a tiny bit slower and takes more SP. Hmm. Nine damage times two. Wait a minute. Karn's the one I want to save the experience for. And Kisnir will do like 37 damage a pop for three pops. Yeah, somebody unequip yourselves. And let's put the Mercy Ring on Kisnir. Smack this guy good. Perfect. Ah. 
Hey, physical and magic attack. That's good. Accuracy, armband. Hmm, I've already had one. <laughs> oh, we're so strong. This is kind of making him happy. So his heart is simply a flutter. Or something. It seems like the Kavaru and crew are quite reliable. Yeah, enough out of you. Having lost, you shouldn't seem to be... You should not seem so happy. It's kind of creepy. No, oh, the two men are getting along so well. Afia is getting excited. Okay, knock it off, Fia. Seriously, really. <laughs> Alright, so, we won. Pull out of the village. Well, it's true that apparently Gaidal can't win against us. He's totally at a loss, so he's going to have to pull back. Gee, that's good. Still, why do you seem so happy about it? This seems unpleasant. Do you want a complete explanation, Navarro? I can give it to you. But, we managed to get him to pull back, so we're happy here. Navarro's going over all the stuff he knows about Gaidal. Well, everything except the most important parts, of course. So with this, he's going to pull back and not do business here anymore. He wouldn't want to be hated by Avaro after all. So so. Oh yes, that's right. He has a warning for us. Ahead of us is a fortress taken by Mazteria. And in the Holy Hills, the Dragon Clans. In connection to this castle that moves around, they are probably going to do some movements of their own. And even though they had, we had as much trouble as we did defeating Gaidal, we probably will have problems fighting such large organizations. And we should probably think about what we're going to do. Since Avaro is so wise, he should probably understand just how hard it will be to be having a long drawn out battle with such powerful organizations. He doesn't want us to be defeated on our way to the God's Haze. Gee, thanks for being considerate. <laughs> Come on now, he's giving us this warning because he likes us. He w he's worried that we are might get ourselves hurt. Rather than us, you're worried about the castle getting hurt, aren't you? What you're worried about is that somebody else would steal the castle before you. <laughs> I 
Well, that harsh attitude of yours is just one of your charms. Well, we who are walking on the same path, he wishes us the best of luck. And he wishes to protect the hope of humanity from an unreasonable world that seeks to overpower it. That's an interesting series of words. What the hell are you talking about? So, this is power for the sake of resisting the world with the... No. Resisting for the sake of a world that has been reborn in this age. And it's already started and nobody can stop it. Let's meet again, Navarro. I am your ally, always. Yeah, I don't want to meet you ever again. So he left. Is the village going to be all right? Well, in order to make it all right, we're going to do our best. And in any case, we got him to a retreat. That'll be enough for now. Yay, win for us. <laughs> hmm. I could have sworn there were like six or seven things we could have gotten. We get a bunch of lumber and a bunch of dirt and some pumpkins. What are we going to use pumpkins for? All right. The battle's over and the village people are all happy and stuff. So it's time to talk about things. Hey, there's a mole on your boob. So it's been bothering Fia. That guy clad all in black. Guy doll, right? So the characteristic you remember is the color of his clothes, huh? There was a lot otherwise that was characteristic about him. Just his face had plenty of characteristic qualities to it. So, why is he acting so nice to us? Particularly to Avaro. He loves him. Enough with the jokes, you two. It gives me the creeps. <clears throat> He's probably after the castle. Rather than taking it by force as a businessman, so to speak, He's going to try and do it through some form of negotiation. Well, Fia wonders if that's really the case. She wonders if that's not all of it. She thinks that's not all of it. She can't really explain though. So, this is pretty unusual. Fia here is actually doubting a connection with another person. Rishu is of the opinion that since he says he's going to cooperate, we should take him in. After all, no matter what happens, we're not going to hand the castle over to him. Well, from his words and attitude, you actually think he likes us or has our best interests at heart? Nope, she can't say that. But, 
力になろうとしているのは事実でしょう。But from what she heard, it was true that he was willing to lend us a hand. 事情があるのは誰しもが同じ。味方に引き込んで、インフルースの目が少しでも我々から外れるのならば、組む価値はあると思いますわ。So, everybody has the circumstance, their own circumstances. And if we pull him in to our side and get him hard on with the influence kingdom he's affiliated with, it's actually something of a win for us. And furthermore, him lending us a hand is beneficial. So, even though we know he's trying to. Trick us into something. We should try and take advantage of him as best we can, huh? That's quite the impressive idea. Well, Rishu was originally. Still is technically the ruler of an independent country. So she's got a handle on how to deal with treacherous people. In particular, this could be described as taking on one sword, but we'll have several swords surrounding him. He won't easily be able to act against us like that. And even so, the both of us acting in our own interests is still a form of cooperation. And furthermore, that merchant seems to be the same type of person. So, as long as we're working together, he should be of handy, be of use. Of handy. Hmm. As long as we've got the same objective, huh? True that. Okay, back to Fia. What is it that bothers her about Gaidal anyway? Alright, so that guy said the hope of humanity. What did he mean by that? Well, going by the flow of the conversation, it seems he was speaking of Guadalcuna Castle. So, That's right. He also talked about being reborn in this age. Probably he was talking about the castle. Yeah, that's close, but it's not right. Hope. Fia is hope. Well, I guess she's the castle. It's not something you need to worry about, right? You are the goddess of connections. To humanity, couldn't you be said to be hope? Eh, yeah, you could say that. Mm, is that so? So she's helpful to everyone, huh? Come on, Fia. Something's wrong here. Keep talking.
Well, when she thinks about this, her, her, her head, it starts to hurt. This kind of throbbing feeling. When you, th you mean this thing, when you think about being everybody's hope. But. Yeah, but he said, of humanity. Yeah, that was it. Really was among the words he said. This is a quote of him. Of humanity's right there. So, she's wondering what he meant by the unreasonable world. You know, that thing that was going to seek to overpower us. No, oh, but thinking about it makes her head hurt. But she's got to try hard. Huh. Avaro just backs down and tells her to not worry about it too much. I think she should worry about it. This is important. I mean, some of us could have been killed in that battle. If you've got a headache, take some aspirin or something. Uh, anyway. Probably now's not the time to worry about it. And you might it might have bad effects on your body if you try too hard on it. Probably when we get to our destination, all your memories will naturally come back to you and at that point we can worry about it. Yeah, okay, thanks. I got it. So, when the time comes, let's all worry about it together. Ha! But the things we has talked about are actually worrying. So, does Gaidol plan to use Fia's powers for humanity? We should remind ourselves that humanity isn't the only type of people around. And there are many sentient races. And from time to time there are actually some pretty violent conflicts between them. You know, a long time ago, the gods themselves had a hell of a fight between each other. And all of this mortal races, without discrimination, had quite a hell of a time during it. Oh, this is great! Rosaline's talking! I mean, up to this point I've always been pretty good at figuring shit out, but today he has just left his brain on the ground someplace. So, let's see what Rosaline has to say. I cannot imagine her being as stupid as anybody else. So, she's got a question. Sure, what is it? So, that merchant... What did he say his objective was in offering cooperation with us? Clearly it wasn't to get his hands on the castle. Well, no. The objective which he stated was in order to get into Fuchsia's holy ground. So, protected by the faith and the god, he thinks that the, the country is hiding something there and that it will be very valuable. So, in that case, does he have it, his objective in mind already? So, 
under Ove Rosaline's guiding words, we get to an answer? Hmm, could it be that Guidal actually knows about what is in the God's Haze? That's quite a bit of knowledge to be hiding from everybody. Okay, Fia, do you know what's in the God's Haze? Nope, she doesn't remember. But she knows she has to go there no matter what. She knows she has to go, but she doesn't even remember the reason for it either. Yeah, you pointless moe blob. Okay, we've confirmed it on a map already. But pretty soon we'll be approaching the geysers of harsh truth. So Genri no Kanketsen. In that area there is the Morzione Castle. That's the one that must Okay, I keep we got voice actors telling us this. So that castle I told you about is a normal castle that doesn't move. And it's the one that Mazteria moved into recently. Is there any way around it, Kisnir wonders? That's pretty difficult. If we didn't have to bring the castle along, we probably could. But since the castle is... But since we are bringing the castle, our routes are rather limited. Is it unavoidable that we'll have to fight? Well, hopefully not, so we're going to start by talking to the people. But don't worry, certainly something will work out. Ta, Alvaro, you are too optimistic. I think Eel's got it here. Come on, don't say that. We don't know what Mazter is up to around here. So, at the very least, we should not let it get us down before we have to do it. So, to start with, the Geysers of Harsh Truth. So, we get to work hard for this village and eventually power up Pia enough to get moving again. Right, we help people that are in trouble and then we can move the castle. Simple as that. So, we mustn't forget about the hot springs, though. We've got some romantic man-on-girl action to be thinking about here. And the two of them get into it again. But we've distracted Fia from all those topics that were giving her a headache, so let's say that's good. Alright, so we're back at the castle. And I'm going to call it a day. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.